Positive, it's good. <laughs> I think so. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Do you want to tell them what happened last time? We filmed okay, this? so guys, we filmed this is our second time filming this. <laughs> Such a joke. We the first time, it was so good. Minutes. The first time, I'm upset. Yeah, it was a month ago. We were on our way to go car shopping. Cast and focus. We were both in such good moods. <laughs> it was flowing. The questions were flowing. Now and I, the the whole fucking it. video was out of focus. So back. we're back with a part two. <laughs> okay. Should I do see the same questions we answered last time, basically? I don't know. Mix it up now. Add some okay. spice to it. Okay, how? Are you sure this thing's on this time? Uh, yeah, it's on. Okay. I don't know if it's in focus. It is. It says the squares. I think we should be okay. Okay. How did he know what ring to get you? Is this my question? Yes. Oh, um, Matt just, wouldn't let me have a say. And... You know, I played around, played around with a lot of different ideas, but I always knew I was going to get a circular diamond. I got a little too into the process of looking at diamonds. We actually never went and looked at rings together. Matt was like very pro surprise. Yeah, I, I, some people aren't pro surprise. I was very yeah, pro surprise. Yeah, so we just zone. Do however you want to do and it. And I felt but like we the most special like way is to me to. Put in the time to find something that I Matt like. Matt has great taste, so I was like, and then if you I was gonna say yes, you have to accept it. it. Okay. <laughs> and then while we're on that topic, someone asked, "How did he propose?" I knew it was happening the whole time. <laughs> you had no idea that it was happening. No, at all. I didn't. I didn't have any idea. Um, <laughs> you know, Matt proposed at Almingiri, and it was epic. We it don't have good. very good photos to show for it, though. stressful. So stressful. So, 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 so stressful. I was so happy when it was over. Which is, like, that's because, kind of fun to say. <laughs> no. I think any guy who's proposed this will, you know, understand what I'm saying. That once it's over, you're like, wow, it there's so many feet. things that could have gone right wrong. Onto the ramp. Um, and that it... You know, I was so happy that it all worked out and that she said yes. Turn was, right onto the I-95 South Ramp. I think you have to turn it off. Because, boy, there's a good story about this. So we're traveling to Las Vegas. We went to Las Vegas for a night before we drove to Almagiri. And as we're in the airport in Newark, I had the ring that I'd been carrying in my, like, backpack for the whole trip. And at this point in time, I, like, oh, when you get shot. it. I had, and I was just like, one, a stressful kind of thing around. You just want to like get it out of your hands and give it to put the responsibility on Cass with the ring. <laughs> and so they, they pull my bag aside as we're going through security and they're like, are checking out my backpack. And Cass is like right beside me as they're pulling off my belongings. Thank God I'm the most bag. oblivious and person in the this whole ring, world. And this like, lady looks at me and she sees and my face And I did like, not even know this was that and she like tucks it back in the backpack and Cass is like looking like literally I'm like why are you so away, slow one foot away from me like playing on her phone or something and didn't notice this and I was just like my stomach I'm dropped. such an easy person to like trick I would have no clue what's ever I never know what's going on okay anyways we got, we got next like, question back. what's it like to balance work and your relationship it's very hard it's very hard I wouldn't say that we really have a balance no, um, like not in a bad way, but like when you're it's passionate all about what one. You, yeah, when you're passionate about your company and your relationship, and they kind of become intertwined, you really just a lot of your time and energy you want to focus on your companies. Yeah, we're both like very into focusing on work, so it doesn't really bother either of us. Sometimes I definitely get annoyed where I'm like, okay, I just it's like ten o'clock at night, like I don't want to talk about work. For but then sometimes it's vice versa. Like, we're both kind of on the same wavelength, I would say. But at the same time, I feel like there's no better feeling than, like, building something together. Yeah, and then having that joint success, and, you know, you put all this time and effort and energy into it, and you get to celebrate it, like, with your partner, is the best feeling. So it makes it not all worth it. Um, how do you both keep a spark in your relationship 
without work slash stress affecting it? I mean, I, I think don't know. everyone has these problems, though. It's like, you know, everyone has stress. It's not, you know, even if you have a business together, it doesn't make it, like, more or less stressful than if you had two, yeah, each person has was doing their own thing. But it's just like the, you know, the being able to were like to be able to have a support system no how you how do you keep the spark i don't know i would say like going on date nights going on vacation yeah or also just like i feel like my favorite moments with you are just like the most casual moments sometimes yeah like hanging out watching a good movie of which we watched this movie last night which was amazing if you haven't seen it cruella it it was so good you were you didn't even watch it at all I was but looking at so wedding outfits. Good. Cruella was an epic movie. The costumes and makeup and all the design was so good. If you haven't seen it, I'd recommend it. Oh, why are you getting married? Okay, so we don't have anything solidified yet. I started to tell you guys this on... I don't even know if I want to say anything because this whole wedding thing has been quite a struggle for us. After two canceled weddings, hopefully, will we be getting married in Tuscany? In the fall. So, obviously, I'll keep you guys in the loop, but we haven't, like, booked anything, so. I don't want to jinx it. Yeah. Right? Are you excited, though? I'm very excited. Uh, kids. I'm starting to warm up to the idea of having kids. Like, you I met a like baby for the first time. I met a baby. A couple weeks ago. <laughs> Actually, that was probably the first baby I'd ever met as well. Yeah, both of us, that was, like, our first baby. It's definitely and that was, the like, first baby I've ever held. It was my friend... Gary's baby was like, I think she was four months old. She was so cute and she was so very chill. cute, very nice, very quiet, which was you know, good for babies, I think. But, but I feel holding. like we have to have kids. I'm, I feel like I have to. Yeah. Forced. No, you're not forced. That's absolutely not true. No, I feel like there'll come a moment where like I'm ready and I want. Either way, we're tips for dating and finding the one. Tips you would give your younger self. The number one tip I always say is to just work on yourself and don't be like searching. Is that a bad tip? No. I feel like it's so important to just like work on yourself and keep growing as a person yourself. And then the right person will be like attracted to that instead of trying to like be desperate to find someone or be like the number one priority is to just like find someone. I feel like finding someone doesn't work that way. Finding someone is like you stumble upon someone and it just all works out and it's like easy. And then like, I also think it's like so much better to be, to find someone when you're in like a good place in your own life. Like you're a better partner when you're in a better place. What's your advice? I mean, I agree with all that. I think that's very well put. I think Will Smith had a good meme I saw the other day about something like that. Oh, Will Smith? Yeah. So it's not your responsibility to make someone else happy. Exactly. You make yourself happy and that other person will be... It's just an added benefit. Yeah, something like that. That's exactly. the gist of it. I've always felt that way. How do you know he's the one? Um, ah. Okay, wait. You know what I was thinking about? Sorry that I'm going off topic, but... We might be going to Santorini this summer, possibly. Maybe not, who knows. But anyway, I was thinking about how... the So the first trip we ever went on, we were dating for only like two or three months at the time. And I remember when we were in Santorini and it was the first time we talked about getting married. Do you remember that? Yeah. I remember that we'll night exactly. We'll go back exactly. to that restaurant. I remember that. Yeah. Well. Um, but anyway, I remember just like knowing you were the one like I feel like it wasn't my feeling towards you in the beginning of when we first met it wasn't I'm not the type of person that would be like he's the one you told me you love me after like one week so did you after but anyway I, I feel like it's saying he's the one was it wasn't the necessarily the feeling but I would say that like it all just like felt easy in the beginning and it all just like felt right and it and you just felt like someone who like felt like home it's like someone the way I always describe it. how did you know I was the one um you know I don't even know this answer I don't know um, you better have a good answer <laughs> uh 
just based on how like comfortable it was, there was never moments of stress in the relationship. There was never like times I was worried. It was like trust was always important. Yeah, I mean that's and like so life made life easier instead of harder, and that's kind of how yeah. I I would define what I look for in a relationship. Is you know is your life easier and more enjoyable and afterwards, or is it more stressful and you know? Yeah, that's a fair like such a simple but like important way to look at it is like is your life better with this person yeah does this person bring out better in you yeah or do you bring out better in them and then you know that's it can be start it can be small things you don't even notice but are you like comfortable like you said does it feel like home like are you just is the relationship easy enough that you don't have to think about it and things are just you know you grow together yeah kind of how. how and where did you meet so we met um at Neon Carnival at Coachella. Yep. At like four in the morning. Yep. We we're both living in New York City. Um and we just like cross crossed paths. It's just two passing ships in the night. Two passing ships. Okay. <laughs> the 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 um we just passed each other and then we started talking. You made out with my face like within the first two seconds. Yeah. We we're both partying let's just put it there um and then we went on a date when we got back to new york like two weeks later yeah we went to, hotel we went to hotel hugo had our first date yeah. and the rest is history we basically started dating like a week later well the, like the following weekend was memorial Day. yeah the following <laughs> weekend you told me we were both in the hamptons together and you were introducing me to everyone as your girlfriend yeah Oh, wait, we have some of them stories, so, like, do you remember when you asked me to be your girlfriend, what I said? Yes. I so, did. Matt was, like, really nervous to ask me to be his girlfriend. I feel like the story has changed a it's lot. It has not changed. You were nervous. <laughs> All your friends were telling me how nervous you were. <laughs> yeah, but my friends are telling you how nervous I was. I don't know if that's the same thing. No, you were kind <laughs> of nervous. You were no nervous. You told me you were nervous. Right. Well, okay, nervous. whether or not that was true that he was nervous, maybe you weren't <laughs> nervous whatsoever. Anyway, Matt was like, will you be my girlfriend? And I was like, huh? I thought I was your girlfriend. Because I was already your girlfriend. Yeah. It was very confusing was that you were girlfriend. asking me to be your girlfriend, like, even though I was like, it was more so 100% your so girlfriend. So that you were allowed to stay in our Montauk house. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> what else do we have? What part of Miami did you move to and why? Should we talk about that or no? Yeah, we can talk about what we like about Miami. You've lived here for four months now. What do you like about Miami the most? I just good? literally love being at the, by the beach. I love the warm weather. I do love, like, the vibe here. I love, like, the restaurants, I think, are, like, really fun. I love how everyone here gets, like, dressed up. I love the shopping yeah. here. Stuff I feel like I'm just more happy and, like, more at ease here. Like, I love when we're having a stressful day and we just go lay by the pool. That's nice. Or it's we, nice like, go lay there. on the beach, like, and, like, there's no way you can, like, can't, like, de-stress from that. Like, it's, like, the it's the breaks here when you, like, need a mental break or, like, real mental breaks. Yeah. What's your favorite part? Um, the same thing. I love, yeah. I love being, I love just, like, warm weather. I love being able to wake up early in the morning and, like, go outside and it's warm year-round. Like, I never need to worry about, like, oh, now it's summer. Like, you don't feel the need to be, like, I need to, like, go oh, the best summer of my life because you live in on vacation, essentially. Yeah. But in terms of the part of Miami we li live in, um, we chose to live, like, actually on the beach. That was kind of, like, a week We live, break. like, north of South Beach a little bit. Sunny Isles Beach. Yeah, so we're like but, North Miami, so we're a little bit further up from South Beach, but we're um, we wanted to be like on the beach and be in like a little bit more of a quiet area. Miami real estate's all like about compromise. You they like depending if you got I mean if you got unlimited money, I'm sure that that's different. But you either want to be in better location, but you're not on the beach, or better location, you're you know maybe you're in okay. Next question. Beach. Just cut me off. <laughs> 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 okay. What to do yeah. if my partner doesn't pay enough attention to a relationship because of work? So I think that it's important to like have your own thing going. If you feel like your partner is paying too much attention to work, like depending on how old you are, me, I would say that like 
the beginning stages of your life are like really about focusing on work and like setting your life up to be able to like live the life that you want and like go after what you want you know i think you need to reframe that totally and be proud of your partner for yeah. putting a lot of effort in yeah and like for being super work. driven i think that's something to be proud of and you know you maybe spend less time with them now but you know if they're putting in all the hard work that'll pay off at some point and yeah, i would say you'd be proud of them for caring and working very hard and that's a, just a better way to look at it and you won't feel as neglected yeah um how long until you two moved in together so i feel like this is like a new york city thing that people move in together much faster <laughs> Because it's expensive rent. It makes sense. Yeah. Like, if you're paying two We moved rents, in together. Off. So, we started dating in, like, that, in, I would say, Memorial Weekend. And then we moved in together, like, Labor, Labor Day Weekend. Literally. So, however long that is. Yeah. Um, but that's also because, like, when you're living in New York City, it doesn't make sense to, like, always sleep at his apartment. And have to, like, Uber back and forth. And not have your stuff there and pay for Ubers back and forth and then pay for your own rent too. Like it really doesn't make any sense. So Matt and I lived in a full dungeon. Absolutely loved it. A full dungeon. It was a studio, studio it was awesome. dungeon. My favorite times. It wasn't my favorite times. I had times. one roll and rack of clothes for, you know, three months. Uh-huh. And that's all I was allotted. <laughs> it was like no windows in this place. There's um, it wasn't this. There was a window, but it was dark. But it was like long and skinny, so it there looked was no out space. onto like brick, like all the things. It looked out onto like a wall. Yeah, I don't know. It was. It was good. We were like you know young relationship. It was. I moved from like a nice apartment into the studio to be with you, and this was just temporary while well, I was waiting to get a work visa. So we ended up getting a nice apartment after that. But it, it was nice, kind of living on top of each other for a couple months. It was. You know, those are the best of times. Favorite restaurants in Miami? Carbone. Or, yeah, Carbone. I liked, um, what are my favorites? We like, like, Carpaccio and We love Zoo. Lido at the Four Seasons. Oh, we love the Four Seasons. Ugh, I yeah. love it there. I can go there every day. Yeah, we love it. So we went to Z's. Z's is Club. nice. Where else have we been? Um, where was the place we had sushi at the mall? That sushi was amazing, but I wouldn't really recommend people to go there. Yeah. Um, we went to Uchi. We did not like it. I thought Uchi was awful. It was so expensive. Oh, that was the place in Wynwood, right? That yeah, place was not. That was. Matt that and I are tough omakase critics. Not even that. Like you were going to spend all the money. You wanted it to be like an enjoyable experience. And it just, they did not make it enjoyable. They were like stuffing courses down your throat. Like you hadn't even finished your first. And they were like piling up the rest of them. And that's kind of what they mean. So Uchi would not recommend. So someone asked if we took out bank loans for, to start Orion. And no, that's we. A good question. We did not. We used our like personal savings and like just kind of kept it small in the beginning, and then just grew really gradually and like bootstrapped everything. Like I feel like we. I'd say we grew gradually. I would say that we. We've grown extremely we fast, but we're self-funded. Yeah. Um. I think like something that like I get really self-conscious about just because I'm still a kind of like learning about like being an entrepreneur obviously is when I see like other people's brands and they have like this massive team like I kind of get like self-conscious about oh my god like am I not crushing it because I don't have this huge team blah 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 but like at the same time I'm also so proud of us for how much we've accomplished with just the two of us but with that being said I think the most challenging thing that we found about this is hiring a team it is extraordinarily challenging to find the right partners for a team, especially when you've been operating very lean. With that being said, if anyone wants a job and they think they're good qualified, please if reach you out to think us. that you could really bring a lot of value to or please reach out. We would we're, we're we need hiring. people who are like will be in the trenches with us. Yeah. We'll give you you know, you'll be the first employee and I think that that's a very valuable thing. So if you're out there, hit us up. What's the most important system to have in place for a DTC business? Uh, a lot of marketing. I would is say. that your answer? Yeah, because <laughs> when you... Um, why, is that not a good answer? No, 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 I think that's a good answer. I just... 
I think you're I think all, honestly it probably starts with supply chain and distribution is probably number one yeah and I, but I also think when it comes to being a DTC brand like your marketing is everything because yeah. you're relying on getting your name out there and the people starting to know oh my gosh Mr. Eggs like that's a great brand. Is that it? But yes, you need to market. Obviously, DTC brand, you have no one else. There's no way to get your brand out there unless, other than organic or paid social. So you need to have a strong social presence. You need to post a lot, be consistent. And then, you, you know, have to like experiment with Facebook ads, Pinterest ads, the whole thing. And then, you know, because that's, for you, that would be the cheapest way as a new brand to reach the mass amount of customers. Once you become more established, it's harder and harder to reach new customers, but initially, you know, that's a very cheap means of getting your name out there. Oh, I like this question. Working for corporate retail versus having your own retail business. So, so working like for in an office, like in a corporate company versus being an entrepreneur. I think that so many people like glamorize being an entrepreneur. Like obviously it is, has glamorous parts. Like you have much more freedom and you like, are your own boss and you know there's so many benefits of just like creating your own schedule and doing all these things but the one thing that a lot of people don't see is like how many more hours you're actually working because if you take a vacation or have an off week like that there's can't happen there's no one else really running your business so your business is going to be affected if you're not on 24 7 like what else would you say is a major difference like it's just such a different structure when you are have a set salary versus like how every moment of how hard you're working is how much you're there's a scorecard every single day yeah what else would you say is such a big difference in. that's like the major i think the different major difference is like how more engaged you are i think if you go like every day you wake up you're working yeah. for something that you can see building right before your eyes that you know, if you're working in corporate America for uh, like a larger company, you know, there's great positives of having a set salary. You can you know, plan your life and you really know what to expect. But the downside is, you know, you really don't see firsthand how your work is impacting the company. That's what I'm saying. Um, oh, a lot of people ask about like splitting bills and finances. Um, <laughs> this is so funny because I feel like we, Matt and I are both really love the funner things in life. <laughs> <laughs> no, lately we've been joking around about how like when Matt first met me, I love to like eat at Olive Garden and Applebee's <laughs> and I definitely wasn't low lobster. maintenance at, by any means, but I was definitely like low maintenance with like a lot of things in life. And Not Matt that created a full no log, red lobster. No, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Lobster. Now Matt has created a monster. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. Honestly. He's created a monster, and once you get a taste of omakase <laughs> and wagyu beef, it's hard to go back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <we've... laughs> no. Okay, but anyway, so back to back to splitting bills and things we kind of just like we don't really like talk about that much i would say like big purchases we talk about but like you have no idea what you definitely are like what did you order because i'm always ordering shit so well, you're just you like, come to me and you're like do you like these bags and the shoes that i just got i'm like this is every day what I'm like, eh, it's like a chanel bag or something and i'm like this is not real you didn't just buy this did you and she didn't. Yeah, I'm trying to get my spending under control, but like, you know, Reward my job is all about having great style and I used, like it's an addiction. I'm trying to get better about it. But splitting bills, it's essentially whoever we're eating for. Like sometimes I pay for dinner. <laughs> like it doesn't even matter. Our credit cards are the same. It doesn't matter. Why are you laughing? I pay for dinner. Last night you paid for dinner. <laughs> no, but I do pay for dinner sometimes. But also we like run Orium is our company together. So I feel like <laughs> I just... you are the most annoying person on the planet. What's our age gap? Matt is only a year older than me. Yeah. Um, ever experienced jealousy or insecurity over past relationships? No. Literally, like we've never even talked about 
our exes or anything like that like since the moment we met like i'm very pro like do not bring your exes into a new relationship i think that's weird do you believe that there's relationships that are that just work and you don't have to put as much that much effort in yeah that's exactly what i said that's the real relationships yeah you're definitely gonna have issues like anyone that says they don't fight is lying but like totally but like in terms of just like oh, loyalty and things like that like and knowing that like you're not gonna just wake up one day and decide that you hate me or something you know <laughs> maybe you will <laughs> uh, or that's... like i don't know where i was going with that i'm like yeah. losing my mind um you had a rough day today bounce back though how difficult is it moving cities i don't think it's difficult i think new like you gotta change amazing. it up in life we yeah. love newness we love a challenge yeah. get out of your comfort zone I've and do something different well. yeah are you going to take his last name yes um matt is very traditional and he wants me to take his last name so i will be doing that um What's the ugly side of running a business? Just how hard it is. I don't think I don't think people Massive understand how hard it is. Stress every day. Yeah. Like, is this a good place to park? Yeah, that's fine. This place? Yeah. What do we do here? Okay, bye guys. All we can right. do a part two if you guys like this. Um, right. Send us more questions if you have them. Okay. All right. Toodles. Bye.